one thing that we noticed, and uh, personally, I spend a lot of time in Salesforce in my day to day, um, the, the general process for like adding notes or updating Salesforce requires someone, whether it's me or my sales counterparts or other people on the team, to consolidate information from a variety of different sources, whether it's taking notes on a Zoom call, using um, Gong or using Google Drive, uh, different notes that you've already collected, using our internal confluence to say like, what are the different key uh, areas that we're looking for to report in Salesforce, things like budget, authority, uh, need and timeline, which we'll, we'll see in the demo, and then actual Salesforce information itself, like the contacts, the context of the account, et cetera. And uh, it's on the person to kind of consolidate all that info and manually go into the Salesforce UI and enter that themselves. Um, so that's kind of the, what it used to be. What we now do with Retool is leverage inputs coming from different endpoints. So again, like Kong, Salesforce, Google Drive, other different places. Retool connects natively to those different sources to query the data and surface it up to the end user on the sales team. And we have these different vector embeddings, specifically information from our Slack, from Google Drive, and from Confluence around those uh, kind of key areas that we're looking for in Salesforce notes to programmatically generate bands, budget authority, me timeline for the user to then validate and then just click a button to actually update that directly in Salesforce. So no longer needing to manually consolidate all this information, but let Retool AI via the vector product parse out the key piece of information, service it up to the salesperson, and then allow them to directly write that back to, uh, to Salesforce. This is an example of that. So you can see on the left-hand side, think of this like different accounts and maybe filter specifically to me as an account executive. Um, what are my different accounts and the information about them? I can see I have information about the transcript here itself and the different calls. And then what I'm able to do is I can actually just generate that budget authority need and timeline, which are the key pieces that are coming from, uh, that we store in our confluence around what are the things we're looking for as far as, far as the deal cycle. And then I can validate those things, but it looks all great. And then I can actually just send that off directly to Salesforce within this application, instead of needing to copy and paste or manually upload this to different places. So that's just one example of how I use um, Retool in my day today, um, specifically powered with Retool AI under the hood to do that uh, summarization and the vectors product to know what are the different key areas. To